that, that we're discussing. Now. One thought that has crossed my mind many times uh, because of what is happening over there, and I was just wondering if there was a, whether the Russian people themselves were aware of uh, what happened at Fatima in 1917 relating to what is happening today. The secular media, uh, they're confused as to what's really happening and why. Uh, I somewhat uh, attributed to Our Lady. Was there any discussion about Our Lady's uh, prophecies back in 1917 about Russia's conversion? No, no, uh, very little uh, and uh, none, none of uh, that in particular at all. That it, when you mention education, and uh, it, it's interesting, uh, more out of the glasnost than out of perestroika was. Uh, had the opportunity to discuss with the uh, some of the parliamentarians on the education committees at the Russian parliament and at the Soviet parliament, mm -hmm. and a lot of discussion on rewriting of textbooks. And they're in the process of, of uh, rewriting textbooks and, and getting the new information Crazy. out. And, uh, and that uh, certainly pre-coup, but that. Uh, there was a lot of glasnost going on in that respect. I, excuse me. I'd like to point out, though, in reference to the knowledge of Fatima in the Soviet Union, that although it is not widely discussed, as Commander Holt rightly said, it is known. Uh, and uh, a leading uh, uh, opponent of the regime in the Russian Orthodox Church, Father Gleb Yakunin, uh, as uh, long ago as 1975, wrote a letter uh, to uh, uh, Catholics in Portugal uh, uh, at the time when Portugal was almost taken, being taken over by the communists, uh, saying they should stand firm, they should resist communism, and they should uh, remember the prophecy of Fatima, and they should not allow communism to take over in the country where Our Lady had come. Father Yakunin is still very active. Uh, I had the opportunity to meet him several months ago. He was a much younger man than I expected. He's probably in his early 50s. He's going to be a real influence in the Russian Orthodox Church in the future, in my opinion. And he knows uh, the message of Fatima. He knows uh, that it's very important and has risked his life for it by this letter. Dr. Carroll and Commander Holt, I see we're just running out of time. There's so much more we'd like to hear about the military, the economics, and the politics. Maybe uh, we could have you come back some other time and uh, discuss those uh, with us. I want to thank you both for being with us this afternoon. And as you can see in front of us, there are several books available from Dr. Carroll. If you're interested, they're available from Christian Young Press College in Virginia. Thank you all very kindly. <laughs>